Is at to the challenge. All right, where is my live? There it is. Say hello when you come in so I know who's here. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Hello, when you come in. Hey, who's that? Sorry, I can't tell what your name is. However, I am finishing up my wig hat that I started the other day in our member class. Hey y'all. So in our member crafting chat on Friday, I wanted to make a wig hat. I saw somebody making a wig hat on YouTube. I'm gonna turn this music down. So I was like, I need a new hat. <laughs> I want to make a wig hat. Hey, Trice. <laughs> I was like, I want to make a wig hat. And so if you are in our member crafting chat on Friday, this is what I got so far. So thinner than I want it to be. So I went and bought a, another pack of hair to add to my wig hat. And what I'm doing is I am super gluing the tracks inside of the hat. So this is what the inside of the hat looks like. So what I'm gonna do is add some more tracks. And what I've started already was, I made a patch to put on the hat. So it's just not a plain hat. And I have to, where am I at? I'm going to glue this on here when I get done. So it's two layers of HTV and one layer, the bottom layer is um, felt. And so I'm just going to use some glue to glue it on, but then I have the two layers of HTV here. But I'm going to do this after I finish the wig hat. So y'all hang out with me. I'm going to put the camera down on my hands. <laughs> if you have any questions or anything, feel free to put them in the comment. Let's see. There we go. 
Hey, y'all, say hello when you come in. Say hello and where you're from. So this hair is the, let me zoom out on my camera. This hair is loose deep. It's longer than I am used to. <laughs> well, I'll say this. I'm not a wig person. I've never worn a weave. I've never worn socks. I've never worn, worn any of that. Um, however, in my recent big chop, in my recent big chop, I'm like, two months into very short hair and I've never hair, had my hair as short as it is. So, I don't know. I'm ready for a little switch up. <laughs> so we gonna switch it up with this little wig wig. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Myrna. Myrna from Stone Mountain, Georgia. So, Treese, I did take your advice. And instead of getting, ooh, am I cutting in the thing? Instead of getting the pack of the same um, color, I'm doing the under the under color, the darker one, the darker color. Instead of getting the highlighted one, I just got the one color. I already know I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna just have to make a few because I like my bucket hats too, but I don't know how this will look with a bucket hat. Yes. And this is long too, huh? I'm used to long hair, but not this one. <laughs> but you know, I'm be swishing it back and forth once I get it in place, you know? All right, let's see. And I am using hot glue to lay it down. Thank you. 
Where am I? There we go. All right, I'm probably do two more rows. Two more rows should do it. I feel like this is too far away. I didn't push this down in time, sure. Hey, y'all, say hello when you come in. Hey, Renee. Hey, I can't see everybody's name because I'm um streaming through StreamYard. And I can't look over and actually look on Facebook to say hello, but hello to you and thank you for being here. Hey. Good evening. Welcome in. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more, one more row. Or maybe I'll just finish out the weave because I ain't gonna do nothing with the rest of it anyway. Yep, might as well. Have y'all seen these hat wigs before? Y'all let me know. The caps that already got the weave in them. You just slap it on your head and go. Have y'all seen those before? Let me know. That's exactly what I'm making right now. Hey, Carol.
Yes, your coworker has one. <laughs> exactly. Slap that mug on and get to stepping. I've seen you can buy them for like 40 bucks, but I paid, I think like $10 for the hair and I paid, um, the hat was $3.99, all from the local beauty supply. I already got the glue and then I got my Cricut. I made a patch that I'm going to glue on the front. You have, Myrna? Yeah. See, I'm going to make a patch. Well, I made a patch and I'm going to glue it on the front once I get done with this. She wears hers faithfully when she takes braids out of her hair. <laughs> exactly. When you don't want to deal with it. Nobody will know unless you tell them. All right, let me see. Should I put this last piece in here? I mean, it would literally take up the whole hat. You have seen one, yep. Make sure this is dry enough for me to flip back out. Let's see. Trying to figure out, do I wanna put more hair in it or no? Well, this is a lot thicker than it was. Let's see. It should be. All right, y'all. Here's the hat. Let me zoom out. Here's the hat. I put the, the more hair under it. And I got my patch for it. Let's see. Trying to try on this little thing. Not bad. Oh, I guess that's why they have caps and stuff, huh? Let's see. It's long. Wig cap. Y'all think I should put the last of the hair in here or no? Do y'all think I should put the last of the hair in here or does it look okay? Let me know. Should I put this last piece of hair to make it a little more fuller or does it look okay? Let me know. 
And while I wait for that to roll through, I'll go ahead and get started on what I'm putting on the cap. So the question is, should I add more hair or no? What do y'all think? Nope, it's really cute. Okay, thank you. I think it looks good like it is. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so where are you at? Thank you. All right. So now I'm decorating the hat. So what I did was I found this saying on in Cricut Design Space. I typed in the search motivation, uh, what did I put? Inspiring quote or something like that. And I saw this and I liked it. And so what I did was I'm putting this patch on the hat. And so what I did was after I added this to my canvas, I created an outline. Um, what is that feature called? It's not called outline. It's called. Offset. That is the name of the feature. So it's called offset. I created an offset of the SVG. And so now I, and then I sized one down a little bit. So now I have one is a little bigger than the other because I'm going to give it a shadow. And the biggest shadow is going to be the base. And I cut this on my Cricut Air Explorer 2. This is um, felt. Okay, this is felt. And I had trouble cutting it on that um setting and so when i looked at the tag it said it was 100 percent polyester and so i cut it on the bonded polyester setting and it cut beautifully so this is my base these are my two layers and i'm going to glue this onto the hat and i'm not i'm not going to use my super glue i'm going to use like a fabric glue so I'm going to go ahead and layer this on, layer my HTV on here now so I can um, put my thing on the head. Okay. Let me make sure it looks good. Keeps wanting to touch it. There we go. Hey, Rosalind. All right, let's hopefully it melted properly in here. Okay, so that's the first layer on. Thought about leaving it just like that. But I think the white will make it pop a little more. Kind of put it over just a little bit so it is like a shadow.
Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's a little too far. That looks good. Hey, welcome in. All right. Let's zoom back out so we can see. All right, so. The reason why I decided to put the bottom layer in felt is because I wanted to give it some thickness, right? And then there's this seam right down here in the middle. So I could have done all HTV, but I feel like the seam kind of would have been distracting. And so that's why I ended up using the felt and, you know, I wanted to make it into a patch. So. That being said, let me go find my fabric glue. But it's cute. I like my tresses now. I like my tresses. Hold on. Let me see. I mean, I guess I can use an E6000 as well. If it's not dried out. <laughs> Let's see. What y'all up to tonight on this Sunday evening? What y'all up to? All right, let's see if I can get this. I found my fabric glue doesn't have a top and it's blue all over it. So we'll see if I can get it to work. Let's see. All right, this is the glue that I'm using from Hobby Lobby. It's called, it was $4.99 back when I bought it. Crafters pick the glue that sticks using this fabric glue. Let's see if I can get it to come out because. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's coming out. Okay. Let me. Yeah, I'll use this just in case. Let's do this. Whoa. Thank you. Working on your pay hip shop so I can get open for my paint party business. Okay. I love it. Yes. So many ways you can make money as a crafter. Paint parties are really popular right now, too. Make sure I get these edges done. Sure thing. I can't see your name right now. I'll have to go back. I can see your comment, but because I'm on StreamYard, I can't see who you are. But when I get done, I'm going to have to go back through the comments. What's, your, what's the name of your group since I can't look right now? And you're welcome.
I'm thinking that's Miss Carol. That's my thoughts. <laughs> my thoughts is Miss Carol, because that's that's the paint guru right there. All right, let's get this on here. I almost lost it. Splash of colors. Yep, that's Miss Carol. Hi, Miss Carol. You know what I didn't think of? How I'm going to hold it here. I don't want to hold it here forever. Maybe I will put a splash of hot glue on there. <laughs> I don't know. It might get some of this hot glue. I was trying to do it the fabric way, but I don't have anything to like hold it on here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the hot glue on that thing. I didn't think that far ahead. But this is what we about to do, baby. Mm hmm. Well, now it'll have double coverage. It'll have the glue. It'll have the regular glue and it'll have the hot glue. So it really ain't coming up. Okay, this looks good, y'all. I'm going to plug this iron for I burn myself. All right, here's my patch that I created. Inspire, create, repeat. I thought it was very, uh, you know, match what was going on here. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm going to have to put some mousse on this or something. It's a little frizzy. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm looking at it sideways. Let's do this. I don't know. I think I like it better when it's all the way when it's to the back versus having it up front. I could put the rest of that hair in there and make it a little more full in the front. I don't know. <laughs> but I like it. It's cute. I like it in the back. Or in the back. <laughs> now I got some long hair, y'all. Hey. I can swing my hair now. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all, thanks for hanging with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mash my videos together and I'm going to put it on YouTube. So it's a like a process video where you can see how I made this wig hat from beginning to end. So there we go. Hi, ladies. Thanks for hanging with me. We do have some um, craft classes for sale on the website, power, the number two, manifest.com. So if you want to learn how to um, do rhinestones or Canva, um, we also have some business classes on there. Go ahead and go to that website and check it out and stay connected. We do have crafting with the coaches, which is Ayana and I. We will be live right here in the Cricut Hustle if you're watching from the Cricut Hustle. 
um, the Cricket Hustle Facebook group. We will be live on Wednesday, April 3rd for Crafting with the Coaches. Um, and the theme is graduation crafts. So I should be doing a graduation cap, a custom graduation cap. And we might have another day where we do a graduation stole. So y'all just stay connected with the classes um, by turning on your notifications right here in the group or wherever you're watching and um, joining our um, mailing list at my website, power 2 manifestcom All right, ladies, thanks for hanging with me. I'll see you next time.